Sebastian Easter Sims. And we're going to do a reaction to The Sims 4 Star Wars Journey 2 Back 2 official gameplay trailer. Hell yeah, let's do it. For some reason, my mouth is missing. Let's push up a little bit. There we go. So let's get started and see what we got here. Interesting. Uh, so, so. Oh, it's Steve. Oh, Darth Vader, I bet. He'll never make any friends that way. <laughs> a few days ago, in a neighborhood not too far away, Cora dreamt of something bigger than the world she knew. Suddenly, a mysterious caller promised the adventure of a lifetime. And in an instant, Cora was swept away to Black Spire Outpost on Batuu. Cora was in shock. I mean, there were aliens, and droids, <laughs> and blue milk. Blue milk? All right. Also, she had new clothes. You know what? I'm going to change this real quick. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. It says I'm cool, but not trying too hard. Anyway, Cora yeah, set out to explore more of Batuu. While devouring a plate of delicious Ronto wraps, an especially nosy Abednedo named Loose Tongue shared some unsolicited advice. If it's intel you're after, head to Ogre's Cantina. Talk to DJ Rex, he whispered. Cora entered the vile den of crime and deviance, only to find what looked like a pretty good time. And at the center of all the fun, DJ Rex. The droid was eager to talk. Apparently, three groups had recently set up occupation on Batuu. The Resistance was gathering forces outside the city, the nefarious First Order had taken over an area downtown, and the scoundrels had been trying to get rich off both every chance they got. Each group would pay a handsome reward to anyone looking to help their cause. And Korra could use the credits. She just had to choose her path. It was an exciting time for Korra. She completed many missions collected rare items, recruited new cool members, became a spy, even flew starships. Most of the time, she could handle a mission on her own, solo style, but occasionally she could use a little help. Luckily, Cora brought her dro- Oh, right, her droid. Oh, where is my mind? Uh, let's go back. Before going on her next mission, Cora headed to the droid depot. There were many options, but she loved this little BB unit. So she paid the credits and named her BBQD. Cutie for short. Oh, what a little cutie. Cutie proved very useful while on missions, causing distractions, picking out obstacles, slicing panels, but really just being a great friend. Look at her. You're the best, cutie. Uh, anyway, back to the mission. Oh, wait. Lightsabers. What did I forget about? Uh, okay, so the very first thing Cora did was get her own lightsaber. So cool. Look at that thing. I think Cora's confused. Okay, we've gotten way off course. Um, missions. Okay, so after many successful missions, people started to take notice of Cora's like effect Morty, on Batu. Okay. And as her reputation grew, she made friends with some truly inspiring people. Cora made a pretty good living on those missions. Rewarded with promotions, antiquities from another era, all the galactic credits a person could want. She thought she'd never leave. But then she remembered where she was from, who she was. It was time to go home. Plus, this guy had a temper. Cora returned to Batu several times and had many adventures. She made her dreams come true. But the one thing she never could have dreamt of was little cutie. Begin your Sim Star Wars story in the Sims 4 Journey to Batu game pack. All right, I have to say this looks amazing. It kind of reminds me of Sims 3 World Adventures in a way. I love playing that. You get to come and go and go back and do more adventures, even though it's only one town. So I'm thinking it's it's it hopefully will last longer than Jungle Adventures. Because everybody knows you can do that in uh, a 30 minute video. And it says you can go back and do different advent mini adventures. So I'm hoping it's got several adventures to it. I'm excited about the pack. I wanted a course. And I hope you're excited about it too. If you're not, that's fine. There's not a lot of people. I mean, not everybody in, you know loves space or Star Wars or whatever. But I love EA, I love The Sims, and I've always loved them. So, 
Anything that they put out, I want. It adds to the gameplay of the game. It adds to your build. It adds to your your clothing, your your style, anything you do like that. It all of it adds up. I I don't know why no one would want it, but you know everybody has their own opinions, and of course they have their own choice if they want it or not. But I'm definitely getting it when it comes out on the eighth. I have a giveaway going. If you would like to enter for this game pack or any other game pack. Or the stuff pack, you're more than welcome to enter. Everyone is welcome to. I, any, if I can get a game code, you can enter. That means Xbox. That means Switch or whatever it's on. If you, if it's on there, I can buy a game code. You can enter. All right, I cannot wait to the eighth. It's only seven days away, and I'm definitely gonna have this, and we'll be going from there. I'll be doing a creative sim. I'll be doing builds for sure. And I imagine I'll be definitely doing the Let's Play, and I know Nicole's going to. Right? Alright, folks! I'm excited! Let's get excited! Hell yeah! Thanks so much, everyone! What do we say?